right, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you out to East Lawrence High School here with principal at the high school, Eddie Morris. And Eddie, it's good to be out and good time of year to be celebrating because, well, you got testing going on. You got a lot of uh, kids that are going to be graduating, moving on to the next chapter in their life. I want to start out the interview today by welcoming you. Thank you. I appreciate, for having I appreciate us out. what y'all do. It seems like you come out a lot now. You yeah. got a lot of great things going on out here. And, and you know uh, it. appreciate TV 35 and what they do for our schools and especially East Lawrence High School. Yeah, it's a joy to come out and, and be able to cover the positive things going mm -hmm. on and wonderful young people. And how are you imparting in so many young people's lives, Eddie? Well, this, this, it's been fun. Uh, when I came to East Lawrence High School, I wanted to be a, a student focused high school and which is you know that's, that's really our oxymoron because we think it's about the adults but we have some of the best kids in the county here and uh and this graduating class is just they're doing some great things and um 47 honor graduates that, that we'll we'll get to to show off at graduation and we uh you know we had a little girl last week got that twenty thousand dollar scholarship from um foot, foot locker and we found out this week that uh, we have one of our students that's going to get a Bill Gates, which they give out, you know, a thousand worldwide. And so she's getting a Bill Gates scholarship that's going to pay for her school throughout her doctorate, wherever she wants to go. And, and so we're, it's not just local, but, but now we're getting out and it's not the state. It's, it's, these are national scholarships that our kids are winning and it's just, it's just exciting for them. And, uh, you know, I, I came here about six years ago and and, and we wanted to change the culture of the school. We wanted to let it be about the kids, and, and that's what we've done. It's, it's just been great, and these are, these are some of the best kids. And the senior class has really made a, an impact on us this year. What's the graduation date for East Lawrence this May year? May 20th. We're going to graduate at 8 o'clock, May 20th. On, uh, uh, if you have never been to an East Lawrence graduation, it's, it's an exciting time, and uh, you ought to come. You remember yours. I remember mine. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, a night that you, you never forget, and uh, it's, it hadn't changed since, since we were here. And uh, so I invite everybody to come out. You know, if, even if you, if you don't have any kids that you know graduate, it's, it's worth coming to see the graduation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope a lot of people will come. All right, well, Eddie, how many will graduate this year? We've got about 120, 125, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, a large percent of those are, are honor graduates. And and, and they, they challenge themselves as ninth graders that we're going to, uh, you know, we're, we're going to make sure that we're an honor graduate. And, and we've, we put emphasis on that. And, and it wasn't because things were easy. You know, we've, we, we've offered more AP classes. We have more honor students now. Uh, when I got here, we had 20 students in the beta club. We, we have over 100 students in our beta club now. Awesome. And, and so we, we've changed it. And, and academics is important for these kids. And, and we see that with the, the kids that are going on to college now. And, mm -hmm. Uh, next year at East Lawrence High School, we have over 50 students that's dual enrolled. And when I got here, we had no students dual enrolled, and uh, we had very few students taking AP classes. So we, we've, you know, our motto in Lawrence County was rigor, relevance, and relationships. And so we we built the rigor up, and and we our expectations changed. And mm -hmm. uh, so that's been good to see um, the kids really get excited about that. And when you know. When they're coming back, Mr. Morris, I made this. Mr. Morris, I've done this. Isn't that and, great? Oh, even, you know, these are 17, 18 year old kids, but, but they're still excited when things are going on good with them. Yeah. You and I are excited about things when, when sure things are going well, especially for young people. And, uh, you know, we look at all the accomplishments that are coming through East Lawrence now, and you look at better than 40% as honor graduates. Right. Uh, it, it, uh, that's wonderful. And they challenged themselves. It was, it was something, and I remember last year uh, we had about 46 or 47 honor graduates last year and the and the president of the junior class said we're gonna beat that next year so it was a challenge <laughs> that that they uh you know they took upon themselves to do and mm -hmm. our teachers are just great of, of pushing kids and you know it's exciting to me as I, I walk back through the halls after school we see just as many kids you know staying over and, and teachers investing in their lives and uh -huh. and uh, it's just exciting as an administrator here to know that that our teachers care that much about these kids and mm -hmm. it's just different and I remember when we was in school I keep bringing that back you know some of my best friends today are are teachers that I had you know that that invested in my life and probably the reason I'm where I'm at today is mm -hmm. because of the influence they had and and, and that's what we preach at East Lawrence yeah, High School. That, that allows you the opportunity to feed back into young that's people's exactly lives right, and, and you do it you step yeah. up to the challenge now in that uh, 55, 65, maybe 70 hours you work most weeks. <laughs> Part-time job. Yeah, that's, that's a part -time right. Job. Now, what, 
you know, let's recognize those people who help you so much at the top. Now, I know we, you know, we have, you could go all the way through and we couldn't mention every name, but you have assistants. Well, we do. And, um, you know, I, Coach Williams, uh, been here for, for 20 something years now and, and he's vested in the community and he has, uh, he's built a, a rapport with the kids and, uh, and, and with the community and he just, anything we ask him to do, anything that, that he can do for the kids and for the school, he, he steps up and uh, above and beyond. Yeah. Uh, and then of course, uh, Mr. Watson, uh, which was a classmate of mine when I was in school and it was fun to get to come back and, and me and him, was, you know, we, just been friends all our life, but, mm -hmm. but I don't know of a person uh, in the last 30 years that's done more for East Lawrence schools than, than Mr. Watson. And uh, whatever you ask him to do, um, I would venture to say there's probably not a day in the year that he don't come out and do something to make this school better. And uh, it's just, he, he's just a great person to, to work with. And, and I know we're all on the same page and, and we're all about the kids in the building. And, and that's, it's just it's just a great working relationship we have. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've been here six years, and, and when I came, I wanted to change the face of East Lawrence High School. And you know, we talked about some of the academics, but we've done some great things athletically. You know, we've we've redone the athletic fields. We've built a new athletic complex that um, I challenge anybody within 100 miles to come look at it and, and see. And um, and with that, you see success with kids. You know, we've right. won the region championship in girls soccer right. and. Uh, we won it in track, we won it in boys track, our mm -hmm. baseball team's going to state. So, so it's changed from the, the culture's moved from the classroom onto the athletic fields. And, mm -hmm. um, and what a job that was to put together the headaches you had to go through, you all had to go through, to put together such a facility. That doesn't just happen. Oh no, there was many, many days, many nights, you know, mm -hmm. uh, when everything was ending here, we was, we was up there and yeah. just making sure. And, and, Listen, it was about the kids. I can't tell, say that enough. It's about these kids and they deserve that. Sure. You know, they deserve to have the you best. Know it. Um, our CTA department, you, you know, with our career classes, mm -hmm. our Skills USA has won the five gold status in the state. There's only five in the state and we have one of them here. When you talk about our CTA department throughout the state, mm -hmm. East Lawrence High School is recognized, industry certified students. And so we talked about the, you know, the rigor, well, where's the relevance at? Well, now it becomes relevant because these kids are using this industry certification to go on and get jobs and, and to go to college and go mm -hmm. to technical schools. And um, so they see the, the, the relevance sure. of it. So we, we just, we, we bought into what our school's mission was. And, and the last thing is relationships. And, you know, I don't think these kids have to worry about how I feel about them. You know, they know, they know. I'm here. Uh, the kids coming back, you know, all the time, just like we did. And so, uh, so now I get to do that at an elementary school, which is, you know, that's going to be a, another challenge, and, and that'll be something I get to, I get to work at and do again. Yeah. And, and so that's, that's sort of something I like to do. You know, this is not my first time uh, <laughs> uh, doing it. Uh, I've been an administrator for, you know, probably 14 years in Lawrence County. Mm -hmm. and now, where'd you start as far as administration? I started... Uh, at Southwest Lawrence, mm -hmm. I went down there and worked for a couple of years, and I went back to to West Lawrence Middle School, and you know, sort of a, a similar situation, mm -hmm. you know, trying to trying to change the culture of a school, trying yeah. to trying to make it exciting for for people and, and mm -hmm. people that want to be there. Yeah. And so then I come to East Lawrence Elementary, and that was you know I was there for a couple of years, and that mm -hmm. was just fun. That's a that's a great school and great teachers, and and uh, and then I got a chance to come to, to East Lawrence High School, and I, I really wanted to come and make a difference. I, you've made a difference you know, everywhere you've been, uh, Eddie. I, I love these kids, love East Lawrence High School, and you know, I just, if anybody thinks about me, I want to think about the kids, because that's, that's what I do it for. I sure, know, you know. it's obvious, Eddie. So, what do you see for the elementary school? What kind of challenges and opportunities will you have there, Eddie? Well, it, it's, just a, it's just different. We, you know, we want our test scores to be you know, some of the best in the recent district. I want our kids challenged. Uh, when I went over there before, um, you know, there was some things that we had to work on. Uh, I, I'm about seeing kids challenged and, and, and getting them out of their comfort zone to, to do things they can't imagine that they can do. And so, not just in the schools, but we want them to, to flourish in the community in the Risa district. And, and that's just some things I'll have to go over there and look and, and see where we are and, and, and where we want to go. And, and then the, the fun part is you get everybody to buy into your vision. 
-hmm. and then and then it's, it's it's like a family again mm -hmm. and so that's that's what i want to do yeah so you got some adjustment to make through the summer moving over there getting everything going getting your personnel just like you want it and we'll be excited to come and speak to you on uh the day whenever you hire an yeah, assistant yeah and, come and anytime and and i hope you uh you know, don't forget about me over there. Come and, and I'll show you some exciting things that we're going to do over there just like we did at East Lawrence. No School. doubt about it. And, Eddie, you already have a good staff over there, a good team. Those teachers over there and uh, the results that they provided have been very well. And so you'll have opportunity, I'm sure, to go in, as you well know, into a lot of professional people and impart in their life and team with them and help lead them to do even better things. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I... I it's been six years since I was over, so some things have changed, but there's still some people in place, and uh, you know they they remember when I was over there before, and we had a, we had a great time. That was that was fun. I tell you, I love kids, and uh, you know if you if you see me anywhere out, you'll see see me around kids, and, yeah. and that's just going to be fun. You know, yeah. third through fifth grade, and mm -hmm. uh, one of the exciting things in, is they're moving pre-K. You know, over there they're moving right. pre-K from the primary school over there. They they've got a great place location for them, and uh, mm -hmm. and so. That's even excited, you know, four-year-old kids to to play with and cut up with every day. That's yeah. I'm excited about it. I know, <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of people that don't energy. understand it. Yeah, yeah but that energy. Yeah, but it, it feeds into you, and you you get a lot out of it. That's exactly Eddie, right. what do you tell the community at large? What do you tell them as far as going into elementary school, you know, and, and about the wonderful system here, the wonderful uh, part of our Lawrence County school system, which is East Lawrence Falcons? Yeah, listen, I, you know, I'm, I'm still going to be on the east side of the river. I love I love these kids. I, you know, I love the, the people here. Uh, I'm, I'm about teaching kids and wherever, you know, wherever I'm asked to go. Uh, Dr. Allie Good wanted to, uh, to change the, uh, the not, not necessarily just change principles, but she changed the, the modality of, of the, you know, put a middle and high school, changed the concept. And so when you do that, you have to move some people. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to get to go to the elementary school. That's, uh, that, that's, that's going to be fun. And, you know, as, as a superintendent, she done what she thought was, was best for everybody. And, you know, I, I love kids and I love these. So, so it really didn't matter to me. That mm -hmm. was, that, it, it'll be fine with me. And, uh, you know, East Lawrence High School is in a place now where, where it, it, you know, it's a little different than, than when I come five or six years ago. And, yes, it is. And so, uh, yeah. it, it'll be fine. Yeah. But I'm yeah. still here. You know, anytime somebody needs me, I'm, I'm still here. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, I love these people. I love Lawrence County. It's obvious, Eddie. Thank you for what you do, brother. I appreciate y'all, and uh, you know, anytime anybody needs me, just just call. I'm always available. All right. Thanks, I appreciate Eddie. what you do. Yeah, man. Thank you, Eddie Morris, ladies and gentlemen, Thank principal. You. We welcome you out to East Lawrence Elementary, ladies and gentlemen, where we're here with Principal Melanie McLemore, here to congratulate you on your new position as principal of Toombs County. Yes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I am literally going home to my hometown where I graduated from high school many, many years ago. And I am in the middle of five children ah. and all five of us graduated from Toombs County High School. Mm -hmm. And what a wonderful system it is. We love Toombs County. We love competing against Toombs County. And we love, you know, the administrators, the people, many of those uh, teachers over there and people in the system I know and, and they're, they're class people. So yeah, they I'm are. sure they'll be welcoming you back. And they we are. appreciate what you've given to Lawrence County school system in the last 12 months. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. It's, listen, it's been a huge honor to come back here. Um, the sweetest thing, I, I think some people know, but maybe not a lot of people know, that I taught here at East Lawrence High School for almost 12 years, 11 officially, but I did my student teaching here in 1995 uh -huh. and then stayed on for a long-term sub and just fell in, love with the, fell in love with the place. Mr. Reynolds, Tryon Reynolds was the principal at that time. Mm -hmm. And he basically said, you want a job? And I was like, you think so? I mean, yeah, just a little bit. And um, the only reason I ever left Lawrence County was because my dad was really sick. Yeah. So, and my mom's not doing so well now, and she lives only three miles from the school. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very convenient for me. It's only mm -hmm. about 10 minute drive one way, mm -hmm. whereas I have a, a little bit longer commute here every yes. day, but it's worth it. Mm -hmm. We appreciate what you've done and what you've imparted, how you've helped the school system to grow. And and we always learn from any experiences that we have. And Yes, and we do. We appreciate what you've given and what we've learned through the process and in order to make East Lawrence Elementary and the Lawrence County school system a, a better system. You have played a vital part. 
Thank you. I appreciate that. I am really excited about the work that we've done here and the bond that, that has been formed between the teachers. That's probably one of the things that I've seen. I would say that would be our greatest accomplishment for the year. And we did that through the implementation of professional learning communities mm -hmm. where teachers met with me each week um, up until a certain point and then we backed off a little bit, but we met very regularly and teachers were empowered to share their own ideas and to know that they had a vital voice. I mean, teachers, it's just like, I don't understand why some people don't get this. I mean, the teachers are the ones who need the support. The teachers are the ones who are the vital link between administration and the students. The teachers are the ones providing the instruction. The teachers are the ones that are the most important. That was really hard for me to learn as an administrator, uh, especially as principal, all the, you know, the research folks, uh, especially Marzano, which every administrator or leadership person knows, mm -hmm. that um, the principal's primary focus must be the teachers. Well, of course, you want to deny that and say, no, it's not, it's got to be my students. But I learned as a principal that it really is your primary focus. The teachers are your primary focus because you've got to make sure that they have everything they need, whatever it may be, whether it's social, emotional, intellectual, whatever it is. The teachers need to do that, and then they do that. You model the appropriate behaviors, and they take that back to their classrooms, mm -hmm. and they do that for their students. But they need that leadership. They need that role model to help them. They've got the knowledge. They've got the content. They know how to teach the standards. They need those other vital components of what it takes to really be a truly successful classroom teacher. Mm -hmm. Well said, Ms. McLemore. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we're at East Lawrence Primary School with Ms. Kelly Dean. Good Thank morning. you for taking the opportunity to speak Thank with you us for now. Coming. Hey, I always love coming out here. It's just a great feel from the time you walk into East Lawrence Primary School. We think so too. We've worked real hard to create that atmosphere here. So comfortable and inviting, and everyone's always so friendly, Kelly. Yes. Now, you've been here for several years. I have. What, six, seven years? Um, we've been in Lawrence County for about seven years and I've been here at the primary for three. For three years, mm -hmm. okay. And you've always had a heart for curriculum, have you not? I have. Um, I always say that once you're a teacher, you're a teacher. Even moving into administration and those sort of things, I still, to me, um, what goes on in that classroom is one of the most important things. Mm -hmm. What's the most rewarding part about it? I think any time that you can teach a child something and you can see them master it and then be, on, be able to take that and go on with it, I think that's rewarding. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That is rewarding, <laughs> I'm sure. You see the light come on. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, remind everybody about your family. Okay. Um, I am married. I have two children. I have one that will start high school in Lawrence County next year. Mm -hmm. And then I have a third grader, um, and she'll be moving to fourth grade next year. And my husband is a professional golf teacher, uh -huh. so he stays outside and does those things. And then um, I get to do this. Which is something I love. <laughs> That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. We're so glad to have you as part of the community. Thank you. And with the changes, with the, the new approach in our school mm -hmm. system from middle and high school and walking that effort through from middle to high school, mm -hmm. as you know and as so many people know, we lose something sometimes, right. oftentimes, in that process. Right. So we've taken away some of the barriers, so mm -hmm. to speak. We've, mm -hmm. we've streamlined, we have an opportunity uh, through leadership and through assistance, through coaching, through right. your responsibility, mm -hmm. which your title next year will be? Um, next year I will be the Assistant Principal of Instruction. So oh. my main focus will be what goes on in those classrooms. Mm -hmm. So uh, as far as instruction, you have to reach those middle and high schools. So mm -hmm. you have quite a job cut out for you. I do, I think it's gonna be a big challenge, but I'm excited about the challenge as well. And I like the approach of looking at six through 12th, not as an isolated high school and middle school, School, but kind of that fluid transition all the way through. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that may have uh, been, uh, I guess, recognized as an obstacle. Right. And so we're alleviating that mm -hmm. obstacle. Right. And so going forward, we have a game plan mm -hmm. to be able to increase those scores and retain more students. Right. Because if you're not successful, mm -hmm. you usually don't hang around. Exactly. And those are those critical years, especially those middle school years. And if we can teach and instruct in those middle school years, looking at the vision for high school and keeping them in school in order to graduate, I think we'll see more success. Mm -hmm. For sure. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. So you'll be making that change over the summer. You'll be going into the right. middle high school mm -hmm. there. 
and what a wonderful opportunity will be for you to be able to work with OJ. I'm sure you, you have met OJ. I'm very excited about working with Dr. Hall. We worked together on the SACS process when Lawrence County went through SACS accreditation. Wonderful. And we enjoyed those curriculum conversations and instruction yeah. conversations, so I think we're going to be a good team working over there. Yeah, to drive and to strive to mm -hmm. improve scores, to improve the young people, to improve the environment in which to learn. Absolutely. Yeah. I, um, I've i always taught on the east side when I moved here and I have a real love for these families in this community mm -hmm. um, and I think we have children that are very capable of being successful so I'm excited that we can bring that same spirit to the middle and high school as well. Wonderful. So what do you say to those families out there now? Um, I'm excited about continuing to work with your children. A lot of these children that were here have siblings in those schools, so I'll get to continue to work with those same families. And mm -hmm. we're looking forward to just enhancing the instruction that's already there. There are great teachers down at the high school and middle school, and we just want to take it to the next level. So with family support and teacher support, I think we can do that. So I'm available anytime, so they're always welcome to call me, email me, come find me, see me in the grocery store, but I um, just want to be there for those families and anything we can do for them. Wonderful. We look forward to working with you and following the progress here at East Lawrence. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, welcome everyone. We're out at East Lawrence Middle School now talking with Principal O.J. Hall. O.J., thanks for welcoming us back out again. Thank you for coming. Uh, we spoke at the beginning of the year when you were first taking on a responsibility at middle school, and uh, I trust it's been a successful year. That's what I've heard. Yes, it has been a successful year. We're currently in the process of, of doing our Georgia, carrying out our Georgia milestone assessments uh, right this very moment. Um, it's been great to get this middle school experience for this year under my belt. Uh, before coming over here to East Lawrence Middle School, um, I've always been high school. I was a political science and history teacher at West Lawrence High School yes. um, for about five, six years, and then I moved into administration over at West Lawrence High School mm -hmm. as well. Also, I was the head boys basketball coach over at West Lawrence High School, and then I transitioned here at the beginning of the year to East Lawrence Middle School. Mm -hmm. So all of these different professional experiences has given me a, um, an extraordinary and a broad range of, of of viewpoints and perspectives from athletics to academics from middle school to high school from from the west side of the district also to the east side mm -hmm. so I've had a great culmination of its of experiences um, because of this yeah and it, it is a good challenge for you a good opportunity for you and in looking at the size of the school I guess if you look at uh, the the size of West Lawrence High School and the size of East Lawrence High and Middle, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's kind of close to the same numbers. I would yes, I would it's think. close to the same numbers. Um, basically, by combining the middle school and high school, we'll have almost the same number of students total mm -hmm. um, as we had on the west side of the district at the high school, and almost the same number of teachers as well. One of the things that will probably be a challenge is the things that take place after four o'clock. Uh, because now obviously we'll have high school and middle school after school activities and events and programs and mm -hmm. athletics mm -hmm. to worry about. But the eight to three job, but eight to four job of it will be very similar to the dynamics and population number wise that mm -hmm. I was used to coming from a large high school. Mm -hmm. And so you have a great opportunity to advance and to develop the middle school and high school experience to be able to work those young people through. And as most people know, many people know, mm -hmm. OJ, um, a lot happens from middle to high school. There's that, of course, age that's a factor, but there's something that happens in there that's not always successful. And, and so the goal is to lock in on that and to make the program successful from the middle into the ninth grade, into high school, and to continue to advance those test scores. Because when you're getting the younger people from elementary, the test scores are very good. Middle school's coming along, high school. We want to be able to build that. And so that's, that's a creation and, and development of the position. Yes, this process has helped that. Typically fifth to sixth grade and eighth and ninth grade are two of the most important but also tough transition years for students and parents and then there's everything in between those years which is basically six through eight which is why we call it middle school right. uh, but I'm fortunate that I'm walking into a situation at the high school where Mr. Morris has done a fantastic and excellent job of already being in the right direction so we're not coming in having to quote unquote turn a school around mm -hmm. we're just in a situation where now we're going to be able to provide the vertical alignment from fifth to sixth grade by him being at the at the elementary school and then by me being at the middle school and not middle high we'll be able to make that transition from six to nine better as well and we're hoping in five six years that the data will support and show that this has been a good transition and that the students are transitioning better from those gap grades and from fifth to six and from eight to nine yeah now we heard uh, much earlier in the year when we 
we first started coming out to cover sports and things that more than likely this will be the last year Joel uh, Watson be retiring. Well, lo and behold, he did follow through and he's going to retire mm -hmm. uh, this year after many great years of service. Mm -hmm. And But you'll still have Jimmy Williams in place. And Jimmy Williams is an exceptional person. He is. Uh, we'll be losing, obviously, um, in addition to Mr. Morris going over to the elementary and then Coach Watson retiring. Mm -hmm. Those are both a big set of shoes to fill. Yeah. Those two individuals right there, I can't say enough about. They have not just been a great asset to East Lawrence High School. Those two men now have been a great asset to the East Dublin community and to the greater Lawrence County community, and there's no doubt about that. So those will be big shoes to fill. Um, and, and, and keeping Coach Williams uh, by our side has just been great because, right. to be perfectly honest, it would have been impossible to yeah. fill uh, to fill all three of their shoes at the same time. Yeah. To try to fill the shoes of the ones that we do have um, transitioning from uh, now to retirement and to the elementary. We all go bring Miss Kelly Dean on up with us. Mm -hmm. uh, she's gonna be with us, helping out with the instructional aspect of the high middle. I'm mm -hmm. gonna be able to keep Dr. Lawhorn, who's gonna be with us, helping mm -hmm. with basically all over the place. He'll be right there beside me. Yes. And then of course, being able to keep Coach Williams, I can't say enough about that mm -hmm. because he'll be able to help us bridge that gap and connect that gap with this East Dublin community because we don't wanna just be a, a great school. We want to be a great community. And I always tell people not only that, when I think about the community of it, I take more pride in being a better person than I do being a better principal. Mm -hmm. And so I think the two go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Well, again, you have a great team, and the community knows of Jimmy Williams. And I'm not just speaking uh, stature-wise. He's mm -hmm. head and shoulders above most people he as, is. as far as his character, he the is. way he, he relates to young people and can get them motivated. And much like you as a coach, can bring that young person along and encourage them to be the person that is within them. Yeah, there would be nobody on our staff that will know East Dublin when August hit next year mm -hmm. better than Jimmy Williams. And him and I have coached against each other for yeah. years and nights. It's just kind of funny to get the opportunity to mm -hmm. work together on the same team mm -hmm. uh, for once. But we think it's going to be a great experience. Mm -hmm. We know that it's going to be a great transition. And most importantly, like I stated earlier, the fact that we're going to be able to vertically align everything from our primaries to our high school, which was already in the process. Mr. Morris and myself have had several conversations mm -hmm. just this year about the vertical alignment and, and me understanding understanding that the middle school things that impact him at the high school and, mm -hmm. and us understanding that things at the elementary impacts us at the middle school. Mm -hmm. So the vertical alignment piece is not something that's going to be completely brand new as we transition into that next year. It's something that Mr. Morris and myself and others have had several conversations mm -hmm. about. Yeah, and, and many in the community may not realize, but there's been a long conversation of the the efforts of the middle school and high school and, mm -hmm. and bringing that together in mm -hmm. order to work cohesively for the young people, for mm -hmm. the for the students on the east side. It, it's very important. I also want to mention uh, Jamie Lawhorn, uh, uh, La Lawhorn's longtime community uh, family. Yes. Been in our community for a long, long time. Very smart person, mm -hmm. well trained in the military, mm -hmm. you know, in, in the uh, reserve or what have you. Mm -hmm. So he'll bring a lot to the table structurally and, and effectively and, and um, all very intelligent people. Uh, at the helms on the east side to be able to help us to bring those grades up, those test scores, to, to provide our entire county community uh, with more opportunities, better structure, better education, again, better scores. Mm -hmm. Dr. Lawhorn is going to be a great asset. He has a wide range of experience. Um, he's very hardworking. You won't outwork him. Um, and like I said, not only does he serve our school and our community, he also serves our country. Uh, in fact, when I first got here, he was deployed uh, to Iraq at that time, and he got back around January. But his expertise in building management and logistics, he's a former coach, just like me and Jimmy Williams right. are former coaches. And he um, has, has worked um, as a classroom teacher as well, which provides him some curriculum background and knowledge. He's like what I like to describe as a very versatile administrator, uh, kind of like myself. Uh, mm -hmm. We're both versatile. We both have the classroom background. Mm -hmm. We both have the uh, coaching background. Mm -hmm. We both have the large school and small school background. We both have the middle school and high school background. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. him and I both together have had a we uh, just a, a, a wide range of experiences uh, to put in our toolbox. In fact, this is not our first time working together. When I first came into the district in 2006 and 7, I was a government teacher and he was my co-teacher. Uh, uh, so this is not our first time working together. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's cohesiveness there, and mm -hmm. of course there is. But let's talk a little bit more about Miss Dean and what she's going to bring in addition to the table, a new position, I guess. Miss mm -hmm. Dean is probably one of the most organized people I know. 
and she's probably one of the strongest instructional people um, that I know and that, I, that I've had the opportunity to be around. She and I worked together when the district was uh, going through SATS accreditation and the organizational skills that she demonstrated through that process and, and the, um, the knowledge that she provided during that process and the curriculum knowledge and background that she provided throughout that process is second to none. And so I'm excited about having the opportunity to work with her. Mm -hmm. We haven't had the chance to just sit down and truly talk about it yet since yeah. all the changes took sure. place because we're still trying to close out uh, mm -hmm. this school year. And like I said, we're testing this year, but I have had the opportunity to work with her at the district level uh, with testing the SATS accreditation and other organizations. And, and she's gonna be jam up and she's gonna be second to none. Mm -hmm. And we'll also have a, a, an instructional coach coming in at the middle school as well, Ms. Janelle Butler, who will be here, who's gonna add to that experience. So it's going to be a great team, and it's going to take a team effort. And so we're looking forward to it. We are excited about it. We know there are going to be some challenges with the transition between combining um, two schools, but with the support of, of the district office and the board and the administrative team that we're going to have. And, of course, Mr. Morris, who, who has always been there to help me, even when I transition here, yes. I'll still be able to call on him now. And, and so it's going to be a good transition for all of us to be able to help each other to put forth the best that, that we can put forth. And the bottom line, the goal, obviously, is to help the students prepare themselves for a lifelong um, career, for a lifelong opportunity to, to, to mm -hmm. grow and to be fulfilled personally. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're providing here, no doubt, with putting together the new team, the Team for 17, mm -hmm. so to speak. But what would you say to the community? What advice would you give them? Uh, what what would you have to say? Well, anytime you bring about a change like this, combining two schools is not a is not what I would classify as a small change or something like. It obviously is something major. Yes. Um, I think for the community, a lot of them concern may be how much attention will their kids and teachers get. But I just want them to be assured and reassured that that won't change. Um, if anything, it may mean a few more hours on us as sure. administrators, but we won't leave until the job is finished, and we're going to make sure that everything that deserves attention gets attention. And we just ask them to continue to trust and support that we're going to do what's best for kids no matter, no matter what, and that we're going to have as much of an open-door policy then mm -hmm. as we have now as two individual schools. And so I trust that my team and myself will be able to, to provide that. Like I said, so far as the large school setting, um, it won't be my first experience. I have the best mentor and, and work for one of the greatest mentors, and that's Clifford Garnto. And so I had years of working up under him, and I worked with Mr. Gay and Ms. Kemp, and so we've had the experience of dealing with a large staff and, and a large body of students, and it can be done. It takes a lot of organization. It takes a lot of teamwork, and most of all, it takes a lot of open and effective communication to make sure everybody is on the same page. And by working with Mr. Clifford Garnto all those years, he's definitely provided uh, that as a mentor to me, and I still call on him now um, every day. Yeah. Yeah, and it's good to have that. Mm -hmm. Good to have that. So we wish you the very best. We know success uh, and continued success, we should say, uh, awaits us here at East Lawrence Middle School, East Lawrence High School, and throughout the system. It's good to be a part of the Lawrence County School It system, is. The district know. office has been very instrumental in this process in providing us the support that we need as we try to make this, this transition. Dr. Ali Good, um, Ms. Holly Deal, Dr. Travit, Dr. Janet Greer, the entire central office staff up there and the board members have been supported and tried to get what we need uh, to make sure that this worked effectively uh, for not just the school, once mm -hmm. again, for the entire community. Um, so we're even collaborating and working on things now to make sure we got people where they need to be and got positions that we need to be able to provide the services that we've always been able to provide for these Dublin community. Mm -hmm. By combining these two schools, we don't expect to get rid of any service that we've always provided in the past. We're just going to enhance and continue what's been taking place in the past. Thank you, Dr. O.J. Hall. Thank you. Thank you.